Hello everyone, this is Kathleen Degleman. Welcome to our Jeunesse Success Map Training. I'm looking forward to, to sharing the 10 steps to success for your Jeunesse business. I am a, a leader with the Jeunesse Global Company and I am a top income earner in the industry of network marketing and I am extremely grateful that almost eight years ago I was introduced to this business model. Um, just as a quick way of introduction to me, I was in corporate America for 20 years, worked for some great companies like IBM and Levi Strauss and uh, decided in my early 40s that I wanted to become an entrepreneur, that I wanted to uh, set my own hours, decide how much vacation I time I took, how much money I made, what time I started the day and what time I ended and so I became a real estate agent and that was satisfying quite a bit of what I was looking for but not everything and uh, then I became a real estate investor and, and uh, that actually has a lot to do with why I was so happy that the world of network marketing showed up when it did because when it showed up for me about eight years ago I was, was in a uh, boatload of financial trouble as a lot of people were in 2006 it was right before the economy tanked and when I was introduced to network marketing from a girlfriend of mine I right away thought maybe this is what I was looking for maybe I don't have to start my own business maybe this is the income stream that is going to save me and I jumped in and didn't look back and I'm so glad that I did and I was asked to take a look at Jeunesse um, in September of 2012 and uh, at first I said no um, but the more I looked at it the more I was intrigued with it and I'm so glad that I said yes and I'm very happy to say now months and months later that um, everything that I was hoping Jeunesse was going to be and that we would able that we would be able to become with Jeunesse is absolutely uh, true. I'm very much looking forward to the next couple of years as we move from the foundation phase into momentum. So let's get started. That's just a little bit of uh, my background, but um, I welcome you to this training. And uh, if you're checking this out as um, somebody who is potentially interested in Jeunesse, I hope you learn a lot. And if you're already on our team and already on uh, in with Jeunesse then I welcome you too. So I'm going to maximize this screen so you can see the slides better. Um, so welcome to our 10 step success map and we're just going to go through uh, what I call the, the 10 steps of success for your Jeunesse business. Um, we created an acronym for uh, success map and it, all, it always starts with your why and this is true for any business for any change that you want to make in your life um, you really need to think about, you know, why are you going to do this? What's going to get you to stay motivated um, to do the activities? The activities are simple. They're not hard, um, but it does take effort. You know, Kelly Banger, my wonderful upline and friend, always says it's called net work, not um, you know there is work in the word network marketing. So, um, and then the U is for unveiling your goals and. Um, it's so important to have uh, goals to shoot for and things that we want to reach for out there and it's really important to write them down. Um, I have a, a dream board wall. Uh, maybe that's a little bit of overkill but um, I definitely always encourage my my teammates and the people that I personally sponsor to write down their goals because the statistic is you have a 95 percent better chance of achieving your goals uh, just by um, writing them down. And so then we've got the um, C for commitments on the daily, another C for contacts on a list, and we're going to go through all these in more detail. Um, extending the invitation is, is critically important. Um, how to invite and actually doing the activity of inviting is one of the most important parts of the 10 steps. Showing the plan is also very important. The more people that you get in front of the Jeunesse products and the more people you get in front of the Jeunesse business opportunity opportunity the faster your business grows and then um, many of you have probably heard the, fr the phrase the fortune is in the follow-up staying in touch reaching out to people building that relationship and continually following up is so important and this is probably one of the things where people fall down the most is the follow-up um, if you're sitting with scraps of paper all over your desk, um, you probably are letting some things fall through the cracks. So you do need to get organized so that you know um, from week to week, from day to day, who you're going to be talking with and who you're going to be following up with. And then M is for make the decision to enroll. 
Um, the most important person you enroll in your Jeunesse business every day is you. And how you stay engaged in the business is by participating in the activities, coming on to the trainings like this live webinar now, listening to the recordings, coming on to our Saturday morning uh, teaching webinar, coming on to our Monday night team vision call, and the various events and, and calls and webinars that we have throughout the week. Um, but it also means make the decision to enroll the people that, that you're reaching out to. You know, set the intention that you're going to sponsor somebody today, that you're going to sponsor two people this week, whatever it is for you. But set that intention and then you've got to go make it happen. But the first thing, it, it, it starts with your decision that you're going to do this and that you're going to attract and find people that want to do it with you. And then A is for align yourself with a mentor. Everything is easier when you have a partner and when you have somebody who has um, walked the walk before you. Um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We've got a great system with our J Factor team to plug into. And then P is for pattern of duplication. Um, if you are reinventing the wheel and every time you do something, it's something new, then your team is going to feel like they need to do the same thing. You want to point to the tools that, that we have and plug people into our J Factor team system, introduce them to our, our Facebook page, and just help them repeat this pattern, you know. Um, people say, well, how do you get somebody started? This would be a good place to start, and our Fast Start training document in uh, uh, on jfactor.com is a great place to start. Okay, so let's go through more of the details for the 10 steps to success, our success map. Um, so it, it starts with your why, and so the first thing you want to think about is what are your dreams and why are you doing this business? What's going to keep you motivated to stay focused? We're all busy. We're all pulled in so many different directions. And if you're if you're working full time or if you have lots of other commitments, then you you like all of us are going to need to carve out, you know, whatever that time is. One of the things you'll often hear me say is that. Um, if you come in and out of this, then your business is going to reflect that and it will be much harder to get anywhere. But if you stay consistent with the simple activities and do them on a regular basis, then your business is going to grow much, much faster. Um, the coming in and out of everything is what slows us down, whether it's our relationships or wanting to lose weight or creating financial freedom. And it works with creating a network marketing business too. So think about what is it that you really want? Do you want financial freedom? Do you want to have time and flexibility? Do you want to be able to make a difference in the world? Uh, do you want a special vacation? Do you want to take your, your loved ones on a vacation that you've always dreamed of taking? Do you want to build a savings account so that you don't have to worry about money? Do you want to fund your retirement? It has to be something that is unique, inspiring, and true for you. And it may be all of the above, but I want to strongly encourage you to spend some time thinking about that and write it down. So your action step for this first one is write down your why on a sheet of paper and pin it up somewhere where you're going to see it every day. As I mentioned earlier, I have a dream board wall in my office, so I see my dreams all the time. And sometimes I stand in front of the dream boards with a, a cup of tea and I'm just in awe of how many of them have absolutely come true. And it's actually time for me to create another dream board um, for 2014 for Jeunesse. Um, but definitely write them down. Um, dream boards are fun, but just writing them down can, in a journal and keeping it and reflecting uh, back on it on a regular basis. And I just want to encourage you to share this with your uh, J Factor team upline too. We, we want to hear what's important to you. We want to hear what your dreams are. Um, when I first heard about this years ago when I first got in the industry, it felt a little um, hokey to me. Like really, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to ask adults what their dreams are. Um, it's not something that we unfortunately get asked about very often but when I started doing it, it was amazing the connections and the um, the, the level of intimacy, really, that I was able to connect with the people that I have sponsored in the business. I mean, when you start asking somebody, what is it that you really want? Even if it's somebody that you know really well, you'll be amazed at what they share with you. So it all starts with your why. And then U is for unveil your goals. And so a goal is, all it is, is it's an intended outcome with a date on it. The most important part 
two things are that you write it down and that has a date on it. And sometimes people say to me, well, I got frustrated because um, I didn't achieve it within the date. That doesn't matter. You're, the date, just that it's written down is fine. If it's a moving target and you have to move it out a few times, it's okay. I achieved one of the highest ranks in my previous company in just under two years. And I, I used to say all the time at our home parties, you know, I was thrilled that I achieved it in just under two years. But if it had taken me four years, five years, ten years, I still would have been very happy. So don't worry about if, if you don't make it right on that date. It's okay if it's a little bit of a moving target. Target. but I do want to encourage when you set the dates um, to stretch yourself make yourself feel a little bit uncomfortable when you put that date down if you're asking yourself oh, I don't know if I can do it by this date that's good that's pushing yourself so your goals are going to be what motivates you and gives you something to work towards every day and so I want to encourage you to to write it down and both short term goals and long term goals. And in our business, you know, you want to think in terms of when am I going to reach Pearl? When am I going to reach Sapphire? And then when am I going to reach Ruby, Emerald, Diamond? So write down realistic time frames for both your short term and your long term goals. One of the easy ways you can do this is you can print out the rank advancement uh, chart from our Jeunesse back office. Um, and I have that in front of me. It's posted on the wall and I just wrote that, printed that out and then I wrote down next to Jade when I would achieve that, when I would achieve Pearl. Um, it took me three and a half months to get to Sapphire. My goal is to be Ruby by the end of January and to be Emerald by the end of April. So um, like I said, you have a 95 plus percent better chance of achieving your goals just because you wrote them down and look at them every once in a while. So C is for commitments on the daily. Um, one of the things that I often say, you'll hear me say this um, at various occasions, is ordinary things consistently done produce extraordinary results. Um, achieving one of the higher ranks in a network marketing company is an extraordinary result and you can create an amazing lifestyle. But the amazing thing about that is all it takes to get there is doing ordinary things consistently. That's the key, consistently. The activities are not hard. Picking up the phone, calling people, introducing them to our life-changing products, asking them if they're open to hearing about an, another way to make some extra money with you, partnering with you in a, in a business opportunity. Those are not hard conversations. It's just doing it on a consistent basis. Um, one of the things that's most important is you need to decide how much time are you going to set aside every day to work your Jeunesse business. Um, whether it's an hour a day or, or a couple hours a week, it doesn't matter. You have to look at what, you know, how fast do you want to go, how much are you willing to give, and then do that every week. And you want to set targets for how many people you're going to share our products and our business opportunity with every day. You know, maybe it's two a day, maybe it's five a day, maybe it's ten a day. But if you'll do that consistently, you can absolutely reap extraordinary results. Um, you have to be a self-starter in this business. You have to be willing to hold yourself accountable. You're the boss. So you want to become the employee that you would give a big fat raise to versus the employee that you would need to fire. Um, so the action item here on commitments on the daily is to write down what your daily commitments are. And I'm actually working on a tool right now that um, highlights the 10 most important activities that you want to do on a daily basis. So I will get that to you in the next day or two. Um, so again, see contacts on a list. You know, you want to be living your life in such a way that you're adding to your list all the time. And how do you do that? You look for people doing things right, and then you compliment them. And you, every Sunday, you want to map out who you're going to talk to that week. Every day, you should know who you're following up with and who you're going to call that that day. Um, your prospect list is an active document. It's not something that you just do one time and you look back and you think, oh, six months ago, yeah, I wrote that list out. I'm not sure where it is. That's not going to work. That's not going to get you where you want to go. Your your prospect list is something that is, is very alive and you're constantly adding to it. You're constantly updating it. Um, 
hopefully you're taking people off that list because they've become a distributor and if they haven't become a distributor or a preferred customer they stay on your prospect list because until uh, they say absolutely no no way never and even then you keep dripping on them you keep marketing to them because often when somebody says no it means not right now it doesn't mean no forever so one of the things you want to do when you first get started is go through your cell phone. Most of us have hundreds of people in our cell phones and go through that and pull out the people that you want to talk to and don't prejudge someone and just because you haven't talked to somebody in years doesn't mean that they aren't the perfect person for you to reconnect with. Oftentimes people feel embarrassed so what, how that conversation goes with somebody that you haven't talked to in a while is just say hey I know it's been a long time how are you doing what's going on it's easy to find people on Facebook right now so you could connect with them that way and and find um, something of common interest that you could connect with them right right away or say oh I saw that cute picture of your your daughter at her athletic event the other day I thought of you and I just wanted to reach out to you and Facebook has made it so much easier to reach out to people that we haven't been connected with in a long time but you just you don't want to prejudge someone it's your job to present the product to present the opportunity it's their job to decide whether it's the right thing for them so we've all got lots and lots of people in our cell phones so when somebody says to me I've run out of people to talk to it's it's just not possible in the world that we live in today it's just not possible so your cell phones are a great place to start building your list um, and you definitely want to think about the people you know that are business owners um, and the reason for that is they get this business faster um, they understand the benefits one of the things I love about this business model it was something that resonated with me right away because at the time network marketing showed up for me I was thinking about investing about seventy five thousand dollars in a franchise and I was nervous because I've never run a company before from A to Z I've never had employees I've never had to run the warehouse I've never had to create the products all of that stuff sounded pretty scary and so one of my big ahas when I first heard about this industry was they do all the hard stuff all we have to do is share it with people and business owners get that because they're doing the hard stuff one of the best things about network marketing is you get all the upsides of owning your own business and almost none of the risks so talk definitely talk to the business owners that you know because they see this for what it is um, sometimes faster than a lot of the rest of us and also talk to the most successful people you know and one of the best things you can do is to become a raving fan of our products because when you do that you're passionate and your conviction is going to come through and that's what's going to draw people to you and I don't know any successful people that when asked the question would you be open to a way to making more money possibly significantly more money I don't know anybody that doesn't say yes to that I'm open So again, write down every single person's name from your cell phone and start with the top 20 names of people that you think are all three of these things, highly motivated, ambitious, and self-starters. Those are the kind of people that you're going to have the most success with the fastest. Um, and make a new list every Sunday night. This is, this is not something that you just do once. This is something that you, you all constantly add to and it's, it's part of your daily activities for building Jeunesse. So make a list of, of 30 to 50 names and your action step is to reach out and call 10 right away. So extending the invitation, we have we, because of the great system that we put together for our J Factor team, we have lots of ways to, to do that. Um, you can invite people to listen to our sizzle call. We've got a live webinar or three-way calls to a recorded overview of the opportunity. And this little um, acronym form is just to jog your memory. Like when you were first getting started with the conversation, you don't want to just jump all over them about Jeunesse and, and telomeres and stem cells and binaries and team cycles you you, you want to warm up to the conversation and form is just a way for you to remember F has to do with family O occupation R recreation M motivation so if you find yourself at the beginning of a conversation and you're not quite sure where to go ask how how are they doing with their their job how's their business going are they getting everything they want um, what do they like to do for fun 
what would motivate them to to spend some time to change their life you know how are they feeling about their retirement account how's their family doing how are their kids doing those are the kind of things that you want to start out the conversation with to, to build the rapport and then you want to extend the invitation to go through to one of our tools um, this the sizzle call is a great tool to start with our three-way calls a lot of you are really starting to use the three-way calls a lot more we've got live webinars like this we've got a recorded overview that I did for the um, opportunity presentation and you can find all of those things on our jfactorteam.com uh, site and look at the calendar to see what's available there too so when you first extend the invitation you want to give people a chance to to share what's been going on with them because that's going to be your clue as to what's going to be important to them so let them talk first you know what's going on with them ask questions do more listening in the beginning of the conversation than talking and then it could go you know something like you know listen are you by chance looking to make a little extra income part-time are you open to that I have a great opportunity for you to earn Earn two to five thousand dollars extra per month or more it by working an hour or two a day is that something you'd like to hear more about most people are going to say yes to that um, and then what you do next is you lead them to a tool it could be the sizzle call um, it could be a three-way call or it could be the recorded opportunity webinar um, I love using the sizzle call first and then leading them to a recorded opportunity webinar and then uh, either a three-way call or get together in person or um, possibly inviting them to uh, the home party so um, you definitely one of the key things when you send somebody to a sizzle call or the opportunity webinar is make sure that you set up a time that you're going to follow up with them um, the fortune is in the follow-up you want to say after you watch it I'm going to give you a call I'm going to follow up with you I'm going to find out what you liked best about it So the action step for extend the invitation is as soon as this training is over, extend the invitation to at least one person on your list. And the night is young, you've got plenty of time to do that. <laughs> So showing the plan, once they've watched the webinar and they're open to more, that's when you go into more detail. And this is, these are just some of the ways you can do that. Again, we've got live webinars, we've got recorded webinars, one-on-ones, face-to-face are great. If you can't get together in person, uh, Skype is a great tool. Uh, we've got regularly scheduled home parties and then of course there's always the three-way call. The three-way call is one of the most important tools in our business um, and it's also one of the ones that's uh, the least utilized. We've got a number of people on our team that are doing a great job using them. I'd like to see many many more of you. Um, I think sometimes people think oh I don't want to bother them or they don't have time or they're too busy. Your upline, including me and including Kelly Banger, we would love to do as many three-way calls as you can keep us busy doing because it means that you're in activity, it means that you're doing the work, and you're connecting us with people that are open to building this with us. So. Um, another thing that you could do if somebody says I want more detail on the comp plan is you could send them my recorded comp plan webinar um, you can also find that on the jfactorteam.com uh, that's a great one if somebody wants to know more details about the compensation plan um, the compensation plan can become something that people get uh, nervous about I was talking with one of our leaders the other day and she she just was having a hard time understanding one of the uh, ways that we get paid you know don't let yourself get hung up by that you need to listen to that recorded comp plan several times but use the tool you know especially in the beginning you know there's a lot of words in network marketing that might be new to you so use the tools use the recorded webinars um, to help you uh, bring business to you as you're learning. So stay in touch and follow up. You know, like I said before, the fortune absolutely is in the follow up. Um, you want to be personal, you want to be informal, but you want your follow up to be timely. And you want to follow up immediately after you've referred somebody to um, an opportunity webinar, whether it's live or recorded. And you also want to follow up very soon after you've got someone started on the products just to see how they're doing, make sure that they've started using the products. And you also want to follow up immediately after you enroll someone to send them in the right direction. When you uh, 
first bring somebody into the business, it's critical that you spend time with them right away to get them set up for success. We have a short window um, when somebody is excited. If you don't handle them with kid gloves and take care of them and get them started using our J Factor team tools, um, you know, pe people get sidetracked. So you want to get them going in the right direction very quickly. Uh, this is our Jeunesse J Factor team, and this is just some of the, the wonderful leaders and, and friends that I get to work with. Um, but again, these are the different tools that we've got to offer. We've got a five minute sizzle line. Um, that's just an 800 number that you can dial into. One of the best ways to use that is you might be out with a girlfriend for lunch and you just brought this up and you say, here, you know, let Kathleen Degelman explain it to you. Um, she's been in the industry for, for years. She's made millions of dollars. It's a quick five minute call and you can listen to it together while you're sitting there at lunch. Uh, we've got our on-demand webinars, live webinars like this. We've also got the recorded versions of many webinars. We've got our private Facebook group, which is really fun. And one of, one of the best things about this business is the, the community that you're going to get to be a part of and the friendships that you're going to make because you said yes to Jeunesse. And, and I'm loving Facebook as a, as a tool for this because it's just a great community builder. And we've also got our team calendar on our J Factor team. We're offering um, training on how to uh, use social media to build uh, a network marketing business now to build Jeunesse. When I started in the industry almost eight years ago, we did it all the traditional way. We did it face-to-face, um, one-on-ones, -face, phone calls, home parties, and events. And all of those ways are still great. They they work. Um, but with the way that the world has changed with technology and the internet and Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and Pinterest and Skype and um, Instant Presenter and GoToWebinars, there's so many incredible tools to help us do this online also. But you just, you know, we're teaching people how to use the, the social media sites. And like I said, Facebook is a great tool. LinkedIn and Twitter and Pinterest and Google Plus are really, really great too. Um, it can be overwhelming at first, so you probably want to choose one and get really comfortable and familiar with that too. But whether you're... Um, online or offline, it's still all about the relationship. You still need to develop uh, the rapport and, and the connection with somebody before you present the products uh, and or the business to them. You know, sometimes I think people think that social media makes it easy. You can just kind of, we don't want to spam people about our business and our products. Um, it's still, whether you're offline or online, it's about the relationships. It's just that social media gives us so much easier access to people all over the world. And that was one of the reasons why I said yes to Jeunesse. It's because Jeunesse is in 87 countries today. And uh, I'm sure that's that will grow in the years to come. But it's never been easier to connect with people in 87 countries because of the internet and Facebook and, and all the tools that we have. So. I loved that Jeunesse presented a, a global opportunity for me and with the tools that we have available with us today, um, it's, it's, it's a very, very exciting position to be in. And so with Jeunesse, our, uh, our J Factor team, we've also got our customer platform. You can send people to our customer website. It's called secrets to flawlessskin.com. We've got customer testimonials. We've got videos. We've got before and after pictures. So that's somewhere where you can send someone where they can just real quickly look at, at what's going on in particular with the, the skincare line, the results of the skincare line. And then our systems platform is our jfactorteam.com. Our calendar is there, and like I said, we've got a great, um, great Facebook community going there. So M is for make the decision to enroll. So you want to ask them when you follow up with them, what did they like the most? And somebody that, let's say, they've just listened to a recorded opportunity presentation, they're going to say either the products or the comp plan or Jeunesse Kids. But if by asking them what they like the most, that's your cue for where you're going to take the conversation next. Whatever they say is what you focus on. And it's great to, to, to meet in person, but if, if they're far away, we can always um, Skype. Um, you want to share all of the packages with them. 
if you want to set the intention every day that you're there to enroll people and then teach them how to enroll people. Um, you want to lead people to a decision. You know, being on the fence, nobody likes that, nobody enjoys that. So your role is to help people get off the fence and make that decision. And your enthusiasm, uh, your positiveness about the products, your excitement about the business opportunity, and your own personal testimonial of the product is what's going to draw people to you. But you absolutely want to help people take action. And one of one of my favorite phrases when I'm leading somebody to a decision is, let's get you started. So A is for align yourself with a mentor. Um, this business will grow so much faster if you work with your active upline, someone that has blazed the trail before you. I am always available. Kelly Bangert is a great upline for us too. We've got some wonderful leaders in our in our Jeunesse business. Too, too many to name right now, but it is not it's not going to be difficult for you to align yourself with a mentor it one of the things i want to talk to you about though it's how important it is for you to be coachable for you to listen and for you to be open to guidance from that mentor whether it's me or someone else you know you don't have to reinvent the wheel when you're working with a mentor we've created the j factor team system so that you don't have to and the bottom line is when you're working with somebody uh, a mentor a, a peer a partner it's it makes this business so much more fun um, so you want to follow the leaders you want to go up line when you've got an issue never go down line when you've got an issue or a problem or a situation always go up line and you want to seek counsel um, ask advice from the people, from those of us that have, have been already very successful with this. The three-way calls are an incredible tool for you. I can't stress that enough. Um, it give, You're going to get to learn what your upline, whether it's um, me or Kathleen Radu or Becky or Gary Masseri or Lisa, Linda Miner. I mean, there's a lot of us that you would be able to work with. You want to work within your active line of sponsorship. Um, but we've all got lots of choices, but the three-way calls are a great tool because you're going to get to learn um, while you're introducing your, your prospect to us. So it's one of the best tools that we've got. So P is for pattern of duplication and everything that we've just discussed is how you duplicate. You know, become the sponsor you would want to have. Duplication is absolutely key. You've got to keep it simple and you've got to lead people you sponsor to the next steps. Je success in Jeunesse doesn't happen by chance or nobody just gets lucky. I mean, this does take, take work, um, but our J Factor team, uh, success map and our jfactorteam.com is going to take the guesswork out of it. We absolutely have a proven predictable pattern of activities. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, you know, you just want to think in terms of wash, rinse, repeat. You know, repeat the success map. Be consistent and make sure that whatever you're doing can be duplicated. So your foundation for Sapphire, um, the average Sapphire with Jeunesse makes about an extra $2,500 a month. Um, that will change most people's lives and you become Sapphire by helping 12 um, personally sponsored distributors become executives. So one of your first goals when you first get started is to become an executive and that means that you've personally sponsored two people, one on the right, one on the left, and when you sponsor 12 distributors that have become executives, that's when you become a Sapphire. And that's one of the, the first big um, hoops that you want to get through, um, one of the first big gates that you want to get through in your Jeunesse business. Achieving Sapphire is, is great. It's a big deal. So some of the keys to successful sponsoring, um, you want to sponsor people that you like. If you don't like somebody or if somebody's grumpy or if somebody's really negative or if you cringe when they call you, that's not somebody that you're going to enjoy being in business with. That's not somebody that you're going to enjoy traveling with. So it sounds simple, but sponsor people you actually like. Sponsor people that you enjoy. Sponsor people who are at your economic level and above. Um, our compensation plan is written in a way that even if you're going through some hard financial times, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get started, and you can make good money without spending a lot of money. Um, but you, you don't want to we can't be taking on just tons of projects. You also want to think in terms of you know, who do I know that is already successful? Who do I know that um, 
you know, is more successful than me, that is a business owner, um, that's a go-getter, you know, who do I know that's ambitious, who do I know that's looking for more, and a lot of times people think, especially when we first get started in this, is like, oh, if I could only get a whole business, like if I could, if I could get a whole group going, um, that's not how we sponsor people in this business. We sponsor individuals and then they help us sponsor more individuals within that group. So focus on individual people and sponsor people who know you initially when you're just first getting going. Um, when you're first starting, sponsor people who already know you and trust you. Now that doesn't mean that you're not going to run into some issues like I did with your best friends and, and some of your closest family members. Not all of your best friends and your family members are going to join you in this. Hopefully they'll be positive and supportive, but it really doesn't matter whether they are or they aren't. We all know lots of people that know us and trust us. So sponsor the most successful people you know, and again, sponsor people who are, who are looking. And one of my favorite phrases is, are you open to learning more about a way to make extra money, and I'm talking serious extra money, working a side business with me part-time? I haven't had anybody say, no, I'm not open to that. So one of my favorite things about this industry, network marketing, and, and I love what Janess is helping us in particular with this, is the personal development that you're going to get along the way. Um, the person that you will become because you decided to build a Janess business with us, uh, you might not even recognize yourself a few years from now. Some of the things that you might be intimidated by or nervous about right now, the um, personal development and the confidence that you'll gain by deciding to build this business and the community that you'll get to be a part of. Uh, you'll be amazed at, at who you are in so many uh, wonderful positive ways a couple of years from now. And it's so true what Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Our mindset has everything to do with this. And so personal development is a key part of what makes a successful uh, network marketer. So you want to read or listen to a minimum of 15 minutes of positive, inspirational uh, book every day. And I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, readers are leaders and leaders are readers. Um, the first time I heard that, I had to think about it. Um, but the days when I do read at least 15 to 30 minutes from a positive book, and I try to do it every day, and I probably end up doing it four or five times a week, but those days, I have better days. And so if you're having a better day, you're having a better life. This won't just change your um, or improve your Jeunesse business. It'll help you with your life. It'll help you with your relationships. So I strongly encourage you to take that seriously. And I also really want to encourage you to review your dreams and goals daily. You absolutely do get what you focus on. Um, so focus on something that's positive. Focus on something that moves you, something that's going to motivate you to stay engaged in the activities. And with with our business model, you absolutely get to develop a lot of leadership skills. You know, some I learned a long time ago from a, a mentor in a... Uh, a wealth building community that when you feel uncomfortable when you've got that knot in your stomach or you've got butterflies in your stomach then you need to learn to pat yourself on the back because that means you're doing something that's out of your comfort zone and you need to say good for me I'm doing something that's stretching me so um, you're gonna get to do a lot of that and we're gonna be there to, to help you and guide you this is a big part of why I said yes to this industry almost eight years ago is because I thought it sounded fun and it absolutely has been. It's been a blast. I've got wonderful friends all over the world. I've, I've changed my financial blueprint for sure. I've made millions and millions of dollars in this industry. I've helped many other people make very significant, even millions of dollars. Um, and it all starts with a system. It all starts with a pattern of duplication. And we've created what I think is an excellent system with our J Factor team uh, website and training. We've got the beginnings of a wonderful community. And the reason why I say the beginnings is because we are very much in the foundation phase right now. In the next couple of years this is going to grow so fast and it's going to be very exciting to watch. So um, the last part of this is just continue to develop a positive mental attitude. Um, if you're enthusiastic and happy and, and positive and encouraging then you're going to draw a lot more people to you than if you're the opposite of all those things. 
So if you're brand new to this or if you're just getting started, these are um, the first steps to build your Jeunesse business. The first thing you want to do is you want to enroll. Then you want to place your initial order. And the person who is sponsoring you will guide you through what package is right for you. Um, my, the ambassador package is definitely my favorite. That's the one that gives you a great amount of inventory and some extra commissions um, for the first six months before you actually achieve the rank of Sapphire. And then you want to log into your back office and set the lock placement for your um, leg placement. And you, that may not make total sense to you right now, but um, you need to know what leg you share with your sponsor and what leg um, you're going to be putting people on when you place them. And that's what that's about. And then you want to set up your auto ship. Uh, you want to bring preferred customers into your Jeunesse business. We have a wonderful preferred customer program. Um, it is not hard to find customers for our incredible life-changing products. Everybody loves the skincare line based on stem cell technology. One of my favorite things about the Jeunesse products is how receptive people are to them. Uh, women totally get skincare. Stem cell technology is changing the, fa the face of, of medicine today. And this is the first time it's ever been applied to skincare and 90 plus percent of us take supplements and most of us don't have access to anywhere near the quality um, and the the cutting edgeness of the supplements that we have with Jeunesse so uh, we have great products it's not hard to find customers for our products and then the next thing you want to do is you want to become an executive and that just means sponsor one on the left one on the right and then you help others to become an executive. And lastly, plug into our J Factor team webinars, our teaching webinars, and invite your prospects to do the exact same thing. It's been a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you got something out of this, and I look forward to talking with you all soon. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Bye-bye.